what up? It's Cube Jack Crescent. Uh, I wanted to just mention something here, talk to you about something. So I think there's a really good idea here. I think uh, I know how to stop crime. If we use the United States as an example without going and searching up any kind of figures, I'll tell you that there's something like, oh, I don't know, 10% of the population in prison. I could be mistaken. Forget the numbers right now. But there's a lot of people. So what if, instead of just putting people in this prison where they get to uh, socialize in the court and, you know, criminals execute judgment and justice against criminals, which I don't think is really justice, simply because a criminal is executing it. If you want to use the methods, if you want to rough people up, if you want to punch people out, if you want to do that to punish them, fine, but make it legislature and don't let a criminal do it. You know what I mean? So, but that's not what I want to do. I don't think that's that's a good idea. I don't think you should be beating people up to, um, to say you're solving problems like that. I think a better I think a better idea is put people to forced labor, like forced labor. Okay, basically, you wake up at five o'clock in the morning and you're done at eight o'clock at night. Okay, so that leaves you, what, five, nine hours. In that nine hours, you get to sleep or whatever, and there's breakfast and dinner. But basically, you work, and then you go back to a cell, and that's it. You stay in the cell. You work and sell, work and sell. Your work is considered your exercise and your time to all that. But all you're doing is digging dirt. That's all you get to do, dig dirt. Dig dirt. You get to dig dirt. If you got a 25-year sentence, you're digging dirt all that time, six days a week. Okay, the seventh day, you stay in your cell for most of the day, and there's like, you know, an hour or two exercise. For three hours, or you know, four hours exercise, just say, throughout the day. But, that's not social time. It's forced labor, digging. I think if you do that, nobody wants to go there. Oh, by the way, you get paid. You get paid something in the area of what they get paid in the Middle East if they come from Africa looking for work. So something like a hundred bucks a week, and that's for that's for high rise working in high rise steel workers. Hundred bucks, one hundred twenty five bucks a week for a steel worker. So if you want to do stuff like that too, if you want to employ steel workers, okay, they're still getting the same wage. So if they're there for twenty five years. At the end of 25 years, they'll have their $125 a week times 50 times 25 plus 50. So if you do that, so that's something like $125,000 after 25 years of working. And you can pay it out to them as a pension. So just so they don't have $125,000 and go make themselves rich, right? That's it. That's your punishment. I think if you do that, you're going to deter so many people because it's essentially slave labor. You'll, you'll have to work. That's it. Maybe you'll get a 15-minute break and an hour lunch and a 15-minute break. But it's head-down work. You make it brutal. You make people sweat. Particularly if people are a murderer. If you kill somebody, then you do a life sentence. You do that for the rest of your life. That's it. So you can make it beneficial work, or whatever the case, but that's all you do. We work every day, six days a week. No vacation week. You know, every six days a week, every day, every week. Right. So that's why I think you can solve the problem. How else could you think about it? There's no lighter duty. It's like you do the work. However, if uh, you have a harder sentence, then it's just longer doing the work. Oh, yeah. And if you refuse to do the work, then you get put in the hole. So those are your options. How's that? Nobody wants to do that for the rest of their life. Nobody wants to do that for five years. Try that. No fighting. All right, one mango. Need to see.